Hello and welcome to another one of my lead code videos and this one we'll do lead code 67 add binary this is basically creating a binary adder so the question is very simple we're given two binary strings and we have to produce an output which is another binary string that adds the two binary strings and note that the strings could be of different lengths so we need to take care of that so what will be our approach to solve this problem basically we can just think of a binary adder right so let's say we have you know some number of bits to add like this and you know at each at each point in the adder we'll produce a sum bit which is the sum over here and a carry bit which will carry over right so in each round we'll produce a sum and a carry and since this is a binary adder everything is either just zero or one so we can just create a truth table to see you know based on the values of the a and the b what will be the sum and carry bits right and then obviously if the you know let's say if one string is longer than the other like this then we'll just fill in the remaining with zeros right so uh, we'll just pretend that there are zeros in the places of the shorter string so first let's create our truth table right for the sum and the carry bits so here I have the heading of the table we have the previous carry right at each point we have the previous carry bit we have a A and a B, which is the current index we're processing, and then we we'll have to compute the, the sum and the next carry bit, right? So to fill this up, I'll just fill in all the values. All right, so here we have our table. Basically, if A and B are zero, then the carry is zero, the sum is zero. And, you know, if this is the previous carry bit, so if A and B are one and the previous carry bit is zero, carry zero, write one, right? And so on. So basically, if you notice, if there's only one one because that will be one right so we carry zero we write one in the sum if there are two ones like here right we basically carry one and write zero because that's two in binary and if there are three ones like in this case we carry one and write one right so this is how you fill the table just using binary addition right so we'll use this when we write our code so let's go ahead and write the code we'll start by initializing our a index equal to a dot length minus one because as you can see the addition algorithm goes from you know the back of the string to the front of the string similarly we'll do the same for b and we'll initialize our string builder which will be our answer and for the answer we'll just append all of the values of sum right and at the end if we have a carry that's um, greater than one meaning it even after the last addition we have a carry we'll just append that um, carry at the end. So we'll have a string builder equals to new string builder. And obviously at the end, if carry, right, is true, we'll append another one to the answer. And then we'll return ants.reverse.toString, right? Because all of the numbers will be also appended in reverse in our answer, because we'll be starting from the right to the left, right? So now let's go ahead and write our loop. So we'll have while any of these is greater than zero, right? So if either A is greater than zero or B is greater than zero, we'll keep going, right? Because we haven't finished the strings. And so we'll compute our, and we can just use Boolean because all of these will be zero or one, right? So the A string will be set to one if, obviously A index is greater than or equal to zero, means we haven't yet run out of A, and our a dot car at a index is one, right? So if this is the case, a will be one, otherwise a will be zero. And we'll do the same for b as well, right? And at the end of the loop, obviously we want to just decrement these two indices as we move you know, further along to the left. And what we want to do also is we want to maintain a carry bit, right? So initially our carry will be false because we're starting with zero at the start. And so then, you know, let's compute our sum and our carry based on the table below. And obviously what we'll do is to our answer, we will append sum, right? So if sum is uh, one, then we'll append one. Otherwise we'll append zero, right? So this is our whole structure. And now let's compute the sum and carry based on the table here. So if you notice the sum, is just going to be the 
XOR of everything, right? Because if you just ignore the carry for a moment, if you just look at A and B, you'll notice that sum is A, X, or B, right? Because if they're the same, we're going to end up writing zero. And if they're different, we're gonna end up writing one. And so then you can imagine that becomes the new A and B, and then we add that with whatever carry we have, right? So the sum of A plus B in binary is A, X, or B, right? If you just want to get the sum bit, right? Because if it's uh, one, one, you, the sum bit becomes zero, right? Because you carry over that one. And so then when you have the new sum bit, then we can just do that plus C, right? And for these two, it will just basically be A, X, or B, X, or C, right? So for the sum bit, we'll just X or everything. And you can validate from this table that this formula holds true, right? So we'll just say A, X, or B, X, or C. For the carry bit, if you look, you know, when carry is zero, right, then the new carry is just only when A and B are one, right? So it's going to be A and B when carry is false. But when we have a carry, you know, the next carry is only zero if both A and B are also zero, right? So it's, if A or B are one, then the next carry will also be one, right? So what we'll say is carry is equal to carry question mark a or b right because if carry is one it's our next carry is the or of a and b otherwise if carry is zero it's a and b right and obviously this shouldn't be a new value because we have to update our carry and carry it on to the next loop so yeah i believe this should do it let's comment out this part and see how this does oops i have some variable naming issues here so i'll just name this a and b and this, okay, this is named A and B, so I'll just name this A num and B num and change. All right, I have updated the Booleans, let's run it. This should be carry. This needs a function. All right, accepted, let's submit. Perfect, 100% solution. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.